What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with our SAO Rising Steel video. I was originally gonna just save this news for whenever I did my breakdown of the next banner, but they didn't drop the banner news tonight like I thought they would have, because they usually drop it, you know, Wednesday night, Thursday morning, and then Thursday night, Friday morning is when the banner usually drops. So unless they're just gonna post it a little bit later tonight, uh... It's most likely uh, the banner probably will come out on Saturday. So Friday night, Saturday uh, morning. Or maybe they're just going to take the holidays off. Who knows? Probably not. But let's just talk about what is here. So there's two things here I want to talk about. First things first, we got Cathedral Volume 8 dropping on the 25th. So tomorrow at reset, uh, this will be dropping. Um, we're getting another piece of armor, which... <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll go over that in a second. And uh, you're going to be fighting the Integrity Knights on all these stages. So it looks like probably on the first stage you'll fight Eldry. So what is that, on floor 50? I assume floor 50 is probably going to be Eldry. Floor 95 will be uh, Dusselbert. And then floor 100 is probably going to be Fanatio. Uh, would be my guess. Um, but let's see. Um, so yeah, we can get exchange swords and a four-star black and white knight armor. Who would have guessed? Another dark armor. Why are they... I don't know why they're doing this. So, like, if we actually go... We'll get back to that in a second, but... If we go to Cathedral... Look at this. One. Two. We already have two dark armors. We have one earth. Um, we have two. We have two water. Oh, wait, no. We have one water, we have two non-elemental, and then we have one wind. So we still do not have fire or light, but yet we're getting another dark armor. So I, I guess to kind of go with the Aedas, I guess, because um, obviously that's her armor, but I'm still just like, come on, give us the other colors <laughs> so we can have four-star armor for everybody. But whatever, I guess this is what we're doing. Um... So yeah, Cathedral Assault drops tomorrow. There will be more Diamond Cubes to get. Um, obviously, they don't go away anymore. The bonus characters for this one will be this Leafa, uh, the new Sinon, and uh, those. Will be, and then some of these. If you have any of these characters in here, they will also uh, give uh, a boost at how many attempts you can get. Um, which is pretty nice. You know, you get five attempts with what is it? You get. I forget if you get, like, four attempts or five attempts. I, I forget with the actual bonus characters. But normal characters get two attempts. So you get to use them in two stages. And then it, bonus characters get, like, four or five attempts. I forget what it is. So that's pretty much it for the Cathedral. I might save the Cathedral for, like, a live stream. Uh, let me know down below if you guys... I, I haven't streamed Rising Steel before, surprisingly. This game's been out for a year, and I have yet to do a live stream on the game. Uh, just because I wasn't... There isn't a lot of content that I would really live stream. Um, but if you guys would like to see that, obviously I'm not going to do it day one. Um, uh, because tomorrow night I actually have to stream the new Raze chapter. But I would definitely consider, you know, maybe in the beginning of January setting up a stream for Cathedral. if you guys, Because that would be too long to do in just a video. But uh, if you guys want to see that, definitely let me know. Now the big thing... Uh, to talk about here. Well, I guess let's talk about the smaller thing here. There's no new voice lines have been added. Um, and I think that's pretty much it for that kind of stuff. Um, obviously, the ranking event has ended. So I'm expecting within the next 24 hours for them to announce the next one. Which means they would obviously announce the next banner. And definitely it would be a different color than we've gotten since the anniversary started. Um, but let's talk about this accessory crafting. This is probably the most exciting bit of news. This is also going to be dropping tomorrow with the Cathedral, it seems like. Uh, accessory crafting has been released. Collect material, unless it's already in the game, but I don't think it is. Collect ma uh, material and create accessories that can equip abilities. Awaken Vigil uh, R3 accessories to get R4 accessories, plus equip abilities on them to make your favorite accessory. So they have all these uh, obtainable abilities, so like... For attack, you can raise break when B skill linking. I don't know what B skill is, but uh, attack increases based on the number of unconscious party members. But, <laughs> okay. I mean, I don't want anyone to go down, so I'm not going to really use that effect very much. 
Uh, magic attack increases when light elemental RF gauge. RF. What's an RF gauge? Unless I'm just completely dumb. Oh, recollection field. Duh. I, I am dumb. Uh, it's depth okay, so that one's actually pretty decent. Uh, these are just examples, by the way. There's obvi it's obviously not only going to be for light. They'll have accessories for every color. Uh, defense when HP is 15% or lower. Okay, I don't like that. Defense increases when Incarnate is lower. Okay, that's fine. Uh, or Incarnate increases, or defense increases when Incarnate is higher. So this is all a bit special. And then special ones like Battle Healing, Required MP, Decreased, Increased Character EXP Earned. Character EXP? Who doesn't fully level their characters? I mean, I guess that'd be good for someone who doesn't, but... Character EXP? Okay. Um, but let's talk about this other update stuff. So, Goldsmith has been added to the Blacksmith. We'll talk about the Goldsmith in a minute. Ore Fragment Collection has been added to Enhancement Quests. So, uh, I guess we're going to be able to farm Ore, which is going to be used for this stuff. And Training Room has been added to the Enhancement Quests. Now, Training Room is interesting. I assume it's how it sounds. Maybe it's like you just attack a dummy. Uh, maybe it's a way for you to kind of test out your teams. Um, but we're obviously going to learn about it right here. Um, it says it's been added. Does that mean it really has been added? No, not yet. Um, it's going to be added tomorrow, obviously. I just wanted to double check just in case. And then, of course, Goldsmith is not here yet. Yep. Um, oh. Apparently it was time for my login. Um, so besides that, let's go down here. Let's talk about what these accessories are. So create, awaken, vigil accessories to make R4 accessories with many ability slots. And collect, equip your favorite ability crystals to make the perfect accessory. So you can basically put what abilities you want into these accessories and then give them to the characters you want. So, uh, you can see here on the right, these are the abilities. On the left are the vigils, aka the accessories. And then in the middle is your finished product. Uh, about the goldsmith, the goldsmith is a place where you can craft accessories that can be equipped with an ability. Crafted accessories can be limit broken, filling the ability slots can awaken vigil R3 to R4. So basically you take a piece of uh, basically rank 3 uh, accessory and you can make it a rank 4. So that's pretty cool there. And then these materials on the left are what we're going to be farming in the new stage that will be added to the game. Which I'll obviously cover in a separate video once it actually drops. Um, but yeah. Uh, about accessory crafting. Accessories can be crafted using material on Shia. Uh, materials can be collected via ore fragment collection quests. So that's going to be the new quest that's going to drop tomorrow with all this stuff. Uh, so you can open up these. Yeah, there's the three ability slots right there that you have to open up with these orb things over here in the middle. Using gold ore and any elemental gemstone will create an accessory with two ability slots plus... An Elemental Soul Gem will create an accessory with three ability slots. So, Elemental Soul Gems, I assume, are probably going to be harder to come by. I assume the gear you're going to be able to make at first is probably just going to have those two slots. And then maybe in, like, event shops, you're going to have this uh, Elemental Soul Gem or something. Um, Accessory Smelting. Smelting accessories will destroy the accessory, but in return you can extract all equipped abilities as ability crystals. So I guess you could make your per you could make your perfect like R3, break it down, you keep those abilities, and then you can just throw them on anything that you want. Um, accessory added. So the smelting conditions are accessory at maximum level. All ability slots have been filled with an ability. For R3 accessories, the accessory must be limit broken. Okay. Um. Accessory Vigil. Uh, okay, so R4 accessories increase the number of ability slots. Select one uh, equipped ability to obtain an ability crystal when using Awakening. Um, so that's pretty cool there. So that's Awakening, obviously, to 4-star. Uh, equipping abilities. Accessories with open ability slots can equip ability crystals. We already understand that. Uh... About obtaining abilities. You can obtain abilities by clearing train. Okay, so the, tra the training room is not what I thought it was. So the training room is actually something that pertains to this. You can obtain abilities from clearing training rooms when you have an accessory equipped with an open slot. So, I mean, the training room could still be that, but 
Well, we'll just have to wait till tomorrow to see what it actually is. Abilities will differ depending on the quest, so please refer to the quest for more details. We'll have to wait until they drop to really understand, unless there's something about the training room in here, but I don't think there's going to be. Yeah, we're probably just gonna have to wait till it actually drops tomorrow, but this is pretty cool. So, we have new cathedral dropping tomorrow. We have the new accessory uh, stages, which kind of makes me think, since these are both dropping tomorrow, we're probably going to see the next banner and ranking event on Saturday. So, probably sometime tomorrow, uh, tomorrow night, probably before this stuff drops, we'll get the announcement of the next banner and it'll drop the day after because they're not going to drop a ranking event. Cathe I mean, they could, uh, but I don't I don't think they're going to drop ranking event, cathedral, uh, these new farming missions for this new accessory stuff for the goldsmith uh, and all that stuff alongside with the banner and ranking. So uh, this is some pretty cool stuff. I'm really excited we're finally getting it. I've been saying for a while now that I wanted R4 accessories. Um, so it is pretty cool that we are finally going to get, even though we still don't have full colors of rank four armor, um, it is nice that we're finally going to get some accessories at rank four. So you can actually have full rank four, uh, geared out characters for some characters anyway. We'll just let this single summon play out and then we're going to get on out of here. Um, I guess my thoughts on banner wise, as long as it's either... I, I still think it's either going to be a Christmas banner or a New Year's banner of some kind, so it'll probably be seasonals. I say see, I, I say seasonals in a way where I mean, like, they're going to be wearing a costume that they don't normally wear in the series. Um, but whether it's double or single banner, if it's fire, wind, or water, I'm summoning, because obviously it's going to be an active link banner, and that's all I really care about. Um, it, also, you know, non-elemental, I guess, would be something I would summon for. But, um, I don't know. I, I might not, because the way I got shafted on the last non-elemental with the Alice, uh, I, it really kind of burnt me out. By the way, if you are a newer player, I definitely recommend summoning on this Christmas celebration banner, because uh, it's double rates for one, so it uh, should be 6% the entire, yeah, two times rate, so it's 6% for all three steps. Um... So that's very, very useful. And you get a guaranteed four star on step three. So you're really only having to spend, what, 625 gems. And you get, you're get you probably going to get multiple uh, four stars. So if you are a newer player, I definitely recommend this. Or if you just don't have a lot of four stars. I'm not going to summon because all the ones featured here, I pretty much have. At least for, well, actually, there's nothing featured. Everything is just, you know... Oh, no. Uh... Oh, okay. So this banner is only the enhance mode units. Um, so, yeah, this is definitely... If you're a newer player, you don't have a lot of enhance mode characters. Definitely. Uh... Oh, no. So it's not just enhance mode. The characters are only Kirito, Alice, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, and Adis. So um, if you want any of those characters... I, I, I should have looked closer. Um... But that's actually really, really cool. Uh, Sword Volley Kirito. Yeah, so it's just... Uh, okay. So it's just all the variants of these four characters. But it's still a good banner if you're a newer player. That's going to be it, guys. Let me know what you guys think about the new accessory stuff. Let me know what you think about the new cathedral. And obviously, leave a comment below if you want to see me stream it. And then, uh, I guess, just let me know what you think the next banner is going to be. For all I know, the next banner could have already been revealed. And I'm going to see it the second I hop off uh, making this video. But uh, let me know what you hope that the next banner is going to be for Active Link. I think, before we get out of here, let me just look at my top priority of the three colors I mentioned. I'm not going to count non-elemental because they just did non-elemental. So it's probably not going to be that. So wind. Wind, I don't have really anything like spectacular unit-wise. So I think Wind is what I would want the most. I mean, my best units here are probably like Integrity Knight UGO or the UGO and TSA right there. I think those are my best units. So I think Wind would be great for me. Um, overall, Fire, I've obviously got double enhance modes for uh, the uh, Spa, Adis, and Alice. And then uh, what was the third color? Water. 
Water, I've got plenty of enhanced modes. You know, I've got Alice and Adis right there. We've got... Uh, who else do we have? Oh, we have the, uh, the uh, Roni right there. So I think I'm definitely uh, set on that. So definitely hoping it's wind. Uh, that's definitely the color I need the most help for. But let me know what you guys think down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.